Hello guys, this is WA7PVE here with another video about Hampshire. It's an update to a video I did about seven years ago. I never did an update to that, so seven years, never too late. So let me preface by saying I am not getting paid by Hampshire to do this review. Um, all the opinions are my own, and it might be a little bit evident here at the end that uh, I'm obviously not getting paid what I have to say. So Hamsphere is a virtually simulated radio program made by 5B4AIT, Kelly, and Cypress. So it does not use real radio waves to transmit or receive. It's using a simulated virtual ionosphere. Now this used to be true on Hamsphere 3.0, which is the program you see right here. That's no longer true. That feature moved to here. Hamster 3.0, or 3.1 as you can see here, is essentially a rag chewing program at this point. They do run contests on it, which are pretty fun, and you get to talk to people around the world. And the great thing is you'll notice here, those don't look like real amateur radio call signs, because they're not. You do not need to be an amateur radio operator to use Hamster. Uh, if you do not have a call sign, they will assign you one. And it'll be a prefix will be your country number, and then HS, and then your unique user number will follow on your suffix. So, yeah, you can always get one. Even if you are in a licensed operator and you just don't want to use your call sign, they'll give you one too. Uh, and if you want to use your call sign, they'll let you. So I don't really need to go into Hamster 3.0 too much because I went over that in that last video and not too much has changed. I mean, all of this is mostly just aesthetic. And like I said, the virtual ionosphere is now on Hamster 4.0, which is this one right here. I'll go ahead and close this up. Uh, another big change, though, is they do have the Daily Contact Challenge. And with this, you can earn a couple of Hamster credits, which can help re-up your subscription. So now that I mentioned money... I have to go into that. This does cost about 35-ish US dollars a year to run. With it, you get Hamster 3.0, 3.1, I should say, and Hamster 4.0, which is this one. This one simulates the ionosphere. You can have all different kinds of antennas, um, as you can see. And it's a lot harder to you know, talk to people in 3.1 because you have to actually worry about propagation. Also, there is a Hamster 4.0 app and a Hamster 3.1 or 0 app. I don't know what version it's on on there. Um, both use the same server, so whatever you hear on the computer is what you would hear on the app on the phone for both iOS and Android. Now, this is going to be my gripe about Hamster 4.0, is the cost. You know how I said it's $35 a year, correct? Well, that does not include the modules. So some of the stuff you see on here, you actually have to pay money for. It could be as little as a few cents, or for some of these antennas, it goes up near $100. Now, you don't need most of these antennas to talk to just about anybody. Um, but, I mean, for a virtual radio, I don't. I, I, it's hard for me to justify spending near $100 for a virtual radio. Especially as a new ham, that's money better spent towards a rig. Um, the other thing, too, is they do have. DX stations you can work. Uh, those usually cost up to 5 euros an hour. And they're pretty fun because you get to work pileups. So if you're a new ham learning how to work pileups on the non real radio waves, it's actually kind of a good experience. And it gets you ready if you want to do poda, soda, field day, that kind of stuff. Uh, being able to work pileups in the real world, um, Hamster has taught me really well how to do that. So I have to give credit where credit's due. I've made a lot of great friends on here. 
you know, but like I said, the cost of modules on here is just a little expensive. Some of the modules are kind of essential. I mean, the bare bones rig that he gives you works. It works, but you know, you may not get very good performance if you're being honest with just that. You know, some people spend hundreds of dollars and have amazing rigs on here and they can get across the world with it. And it shows. So I guess it's a kind of you get what you pay for situation. So would I recommend this in 2022? Uh, yeah, if you're a ham or an aspiring ham who is in a very limited situation, like you live on a military base, you can't put up an antenna of any kind, and your Baofeng is not going to get through the barracks walls, hey, maybe this is a good idea for you. Not saying this is coming from experience, but you know, um, if you're a college student, broke, just want to enjoy some ham radio, but don't really have the time and means to, you know, get your license, get a station going together. Hey, maybe this is for you too. But everyone else knew him. I mean, like I said, you can get good practice with pileups, and you can make good contacts here, and you can make good friends, and you can talk to people around the world, but you're not on the real HF wave, and that should be your goal. Uh, and Wes, all you want to do is rag tube, and the band conditions are crap, here you go. Now this is actually beneficial, I think, for older hands, like ones moving to retirement homes, limited residential capacity where they can't put up an antenna because it's just not allowed, or they're too frail or fragile, and uh, they don't want to go through the hassle of paying the fees for a remote rig or you know, hoping that one of the free ones is available to use when the band conditions are good. Maybe this is for them too. I'm going to keep subscribed to it because I do have fun doing the contests on here. And I've made a lot of good contacts and friends. And some of them have translated into the, the real HF world. And I've been able to make some good DX. So that's all I have regarding hamster for now. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like.